Hello my friend, Caleb Wright here from Bitcoin Lifestyles Club, and in this installment of your Bittrex Crypto Exchange Beginner's Guide, I'm going to give you a guided overview of the available features and functions of Bittrex. So let's get started without further ado. This is the main dashboard page you will first see when you log into your newly registered Bittrex account. The navigation at the top right of the page will have all the main options you will need to access for your Bittrex Exchange account. The first navigational menu item, Markets, will actually take you to the page which we're at right now called the Bittrex Markets Dashboard. Next you'll have the Orders link which will take you to a page which will show all your currently open buy and sell orders and give you a place to conveniently manage them as needed. Then you have the Wallets link which is where you will be able to gain access to the wallet addresses to any coins that you want to make a deposit of or alternatively to set up a withdrawal to one of your crypto wallets. The settings link will bring you to an area where you can manage all of your important account settings and do important things to secure your account like set up two-factor authentication and set up your withdrawal address whitelist. You can use the icon in the upper right hand corner of the site to change the overall theme coloring from dark to light or vice versa. I prefer the darker colored layout myself because it's just a little bit easier on the eyes. The top of the dashboard will feature coins that are standing out from the crowd for various reasons like biggest percentage gains or top trading volume. Below that area, you have four different sections that represent assets in four different markets. You have the USD trading markets, where you can trade USD against cryptocurrencies. Next you have the Bitcoin markets, which is where we will be primarily focusing. And as you can see from the heading names of each column, the first column is the trading pair or market. The first one, for example, is BTC against ETH or Ethereum. The next column will have the name of the crypto that is trading against Bitcoin in the pair, in this case, Ethereum. And next you have the 24 hour volume for the coin, in this case, 2,211 Bitcoins volume worth of Ethereum traded in the past 24 hours. In the next column, it will display the percentage of change in the past 24 hours. In this case, Ethereum rose 11.6% in the past 24 hours. And then you have the price columns. The next one labeled last price is literally the last Satoshi price that the coin traded for moments ago. The 24 hour high price is the highest price that the coin market reached during the last 24 hours. And the same thing for the 24 hour low, it's the low for the past 24 hours. Then you have the spread and date added columns. The spread is how much value is spread between the highest bid and lowest selling offer at any point. And of course the date added is when it was added to the exchange. And so if you scroll down some more, you will find the Ethereum and the USD tether markets. If you have a certain coin you are looking to trade, you can use the search function on the upper right hand side of the trading pair list. Just type in the call letters or name of the currency that you would like to trade. And then it will pop it right up here. So I just searched for TRX, which is the call letters for Tron. And once you have it pulled up, you can then click into it to go to its exchange page and you can click into any of the names of the cryptocurrencies to go to their respective exchange pages. I'm just going to click into the BTC TRX trading pair for Tron. This is the exchange page for Tron where we can trade it against Bitcoin. If you can't already tell, there's a lot going on on this page, so I'll help you make sense of it. At the top of the page, it will have some stats for the coin, including last price, current bid and ask, 24 hour volume, and high and low prices for the 24 hour period as well. There are also a couple of convenient buttons to either deposit or withdraw the cryptocurrency of this page, which would be Tron. Below that in the center here, you have the candlestick price chart. And this part underneath represents the overall trading volume for each candlestick. The higher the bar, the more volume. And if that bar is green, that means the majority of that trading volume was buying. And if it was red, then that means that a majority of it was selling. 
If you scroll your mouse over the candlestick, you can get more detailed info, just like if you scroll over any area of the chart. And you can see that info over here in the upper left hand corner of the chart. It shows the price, open, close, volume, high and low of each candlestick. You can adjust the time frames of the candlestick chart. That's the length of time that each candlestick represents using the drop down menu here at the top right of the chart. You have the options of minute, hourly, daily, seven day and month long candlesticks. Under display, you can adjust your chart styling, which means you can adjust the style of your candlesticks to your liking, but I prefer personally just to use the standard candlesticks that are displayed currently. And then last but not least, you can add technical analysis indicators through the studies dropdown, like Bollinger Bands, RSI, or MACD. I will select the RSI indicator. And there it is, it pops up right here underneath the volume part of the chart. When you understand how to use these technical indicators, it goes a long way toward helping you find the best times to buy and sell the market for maximum profit. I know that it may be a little much for you right now, but these are things that will be powerful for you to learn through the later training videos that will teach you how to be a successful crypto trader and get after the crypto wealth that you truly deserve. And don't worry, I'm here to help. So you even have the option to save any chart setup that you come up with via the views menu here to select save view and you can come up with a name for it. The next icons will do things like toggle your chart crosshairs on and off. As you see when I press it, now there's no crosshairs, but when I press it, there are crosshairs. This button will allow you to toggle the chart stats in the upper left hand corner of the chart and just click the pencil icon and you'll be able to select your different drawing options where you can add annotations to the chart and let you use technical studies like Fibonacci extensions and retracements. But honestly, it's much easier to do all that kind of stuff using the charting software Coinigy that I will teach you how to use later on. But it's handy that these things are available here anyways. And next we have the depth chart view we can get by clicking this depth chart link right here at the top of the chart. It gives you a quick look at the support and resistance on the exchange. The green part of the chart represents the buy orders that are built up for this coin or the support. The red part of this chart represents the sell orders or the resistance. As we can see from a quick observation here, there's a pretty equal amount of support versus resistance. Maybe there's a little bit more resistance right now than there is support on the Tron market. Underneath the whole chart area, you have forms that will let you buy the market, place bid or sell orders, or set stop limit orders. The default option that is set when you enter any coin page is for buying. So the buy button will initially be green and the forms below it will correspond with making buy orders. If your intention is to sell, you can simply click the gray sell button and it will become red and the forms below it will correspond with making sell orders. The areas to the left and right hand side of the order forms are your order books. The left side represents your bid order book, basically all the orders that are lined up to buy Tron, and the area to the right represents your sell order book, basically all the orders that are lined up to sell Tron. Each order book provides the following info as per column heading. The bid column displays the current bid price in a Satoshi price, which is the price of the coin against Bitcoin per coin. The size column is how many coins are trying to be purchased at that price. And the total column shows the total amount of Bitcoins worth of coins trying to be purchased at that Satoshi price. And the sum column will add up as you look down the rows. It adds up with each row. The total column will always show the total BTC value of that specific price row. And of course, this all works the same, but in regard to selling on the right side. And if you click any of these Satoshi prices in either the bid or sell order books, like right here, where it's Satoshi price 0 0.00000526, if I just click it, it will automatically populate that price in the order form fields, which can make your life easier for making your bid or sell orders. As you can see right here, now the ask price is set at that 526 Satoshi's number. 
Now, if you scroll down a little further, you have the market history area, which provides a running history of the current trades of the coin's market. It will show you the time the trades occurred, whether it was a buy or a sell, what the bid or ask price was, the total units of the coin involved in the trade, and the total value or cost of the trade in BTC. Scrolling down a little bit further, you have access to your current open orders and your recent completed order history. By just clicking the plus buttons to expand them, you can see any information if it exists. See, I had some order history of recent sells. And from this page, you can also navigate to any other coin exchange pages using the search box function at the top left of the page. You can type it in. I just typed in ETC and it pulls it right up. And then you can just click it right here in the left column. Or alternatively, you can just scroll through the list of currencies and then left click any currency that you want to go to its exchange. Next, we are going to check out the orders page. The orders page will give you a list of all your currently open buy and sell orders on the Bittrex exchange. Right now I don't have any orders actually set so there's none in the list and it says you have no open orders. Open orders means you would have like a buy order set that hasn't been filled yet or a sell order set that hasn't been fulfilled yet. If you had any open orders it gives you the stats for them like order date for whatever coin market, the type of order whether a buy or sell, the bidder ask price, if any units of the order have filled, the total units of the buy or sell order, and the actual rate is the actual Satoshi price after fees, and the estimated total is the total BTC value of the order. Underneath this section, you have the recent orders area, which just as the name implies, will provide you with info about all your recently closed buy and sell orders, very similar to the info above, you have the search boxes to find specific transactions more easily. You can type in currency, call letters, or names, and it will bring up those specific transactions. But something I've noticed is that Bittrex has a poorly executed feature of deleting your trade history from the screen as it gets a little bit older. I think they do it every month, so it's potentially every 30 days that your information will delete from this area. And so when that happens, the only way to get your full trade history is by clicking the gray button here that says download complete history and you will be able to download a CSV file of your complete trading history for your records. Next I'll show you the wallets page where you can view all your cryptocurrency balances and make deposits or withdrawals. By default the currencies you hold on the Bittrex exchange will appear at the top of the list here. As you can see, I have balances under available balance and these currencies currently on Bittrex and everything underneath that is zero. And of course, you can use the search feature at the top right here to find any currency you need from the list in case you don't have any on the exchange yet and you want to get the receiving address to send some into the exchange for trading. For example, I'll search for EMC2 and then it brings it right up and then we have the, all the options for it in case you didn't want to scroll through the list to find it. The information displayed here is as follows. You have your currency name under the first column here. Then you have the currency call letters under the symbol column and you can click these call letters to go to the exchange page for any of the currencies that you see here. The next column displays your available balance of the coin. Pending deposit shows any balance of coins that are pending to be deposited into your account and just need the transaction to finish confirming. The reserved column shows the total amount of coins reserved in sell orders. The total column is the total of all coins in your available balance and held on orders. And then you have the estimated BTC value in that coin and the percentage change in that coin over the past 24 hours. The green and red icons on the left are used to deposit and withdraw coins to your Bittrex cryptocurrency exchange account, which I'll show you how to do in one of the next videos. If you scroll down a little further, you have areas you can expand that give you info for pending withdrawals, pending deposits, and access to your withdrawal and deposits history. All you have to do is click the little plus button to expand them and see the information. Now I'm going to show you the account settings page. The initial view you see by default is your activity summary 
which also shows your login history and IP addresses used and etc. A good way to investigate if you think someone has used or hacked your account. In this area you can also work on verifying your account for higher withdrawal limits using these options identity verification and enable account. As you can see I have fully unlocked my account to allow me to be able to withdraw up to 100 BTC per day. As you become more successful and affluent with your crypto trading, it will absolutely be necessary for you to have these higher limits. Believe it or not, I've actually maxed out this limit before when I sold Ripple in early 2018, which was a huge trade profit for me. And you will definitely want to set up two-factor authentication and your withdrawal whitelist and your IP whitelist you might want to do as well. These are all excellent ways of protecting your account. I would recommend at least using two-factor authentication and the withdrawal whitelist because with the whitelist enabled, even if a hacker did get access to your account, they would not be able to withdraw to any wallets other than your own that you set up through this method. But no worries, I will go into detail about all of this in one of the next videos of this Bittrex Exchange Beginner's Guide. API keys in access is something you may want to use with the coin tracking program that keeps track of your portfolio in trading but I would only ever suggest to use API as long as you carefully set the API access to only allow it to read data and keep it restricted from making trades or withdrawals and they provide access to some other interesting options you can explore and use to your liking like auto sell UI settings and notifications and that pretty much sums up the options available via the settings menu. So at this point, I've shown you all the most significant areas of the Bittrex cryptocurrency exchange and have given you a good idea of what each feature and part is for and how they work. However, I will have some more focused training videos for you next that will show you exactly how to use certain functions of the exchange. Make sure you check out my next video where I'm going to show you how to deposit and withdraw funds to and from your Bittrex account. If you want to get started on the right foot with creating wealth with cryptocurrency and not waste any time maximizing your results, you should take a serious look at my cryptocurrency trading, investing, and mining mastery course and my 24-7 running mastermind chat group on Slack. You can get more info about all of this on my website www.bitcoinlifestyles.club and if you would like more information, you can find the link in the video description below. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. If you found this video training to be helpful, I would really appreciate your support. All you have to do is click the like button and leave a comment below with your feedback or any questions you have. You can also share the video or even just the whole Bittrex training playlist with your friends on social media who might also be interested in learning how to use the Bittrex cryptocurrency exchange. If you are really new to cryptocurrency, be sure to check out my free crypto mini course and gain a foundational understanding of Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrency and how it's changing the world and how you can benefit and profit from it. Just submit your best email at www.freecryptominicourse.com to get it for free right away and with no strings attached. I will also put a link to this in the video description below. Caleb Wright here from Bitcoin Lifestyles Club, and I'll catch you on the next training video of this Bitrex Exchange Beginner's Guide YouTube playlist. Stay blessed until then.